tell you this testimony today. It was probably about seven, eight, nine years ago that the enemy lied to me and told me that I was pregnant and I believed him. And I went to the doctor, but he told me he wasn't pregnant. I wasn't pregnant. And still, I thought I was, still I had those symptoms. And you know, the Bible says, as a man thinks, so is he. And so I was thinking I was, and so my body was reacting to that partially. But then later I found out that I had a cyst on my ovary and that, that plays as um, imitating a pregnancy. But I didn't know that until after first Jesus told me that the enemy was lying to me. And I had to actually like lay on my stomach and reconvince myself that I wasn't pregnant. And not long after that, I was actually sitting right here and I slid off the love seat and onto the floor. And in the spirit, I just saw this, this ball thing pop up and go down. And I said, Lord, what is happening? And he said, you had a cyst on your ovary and I just healed you. I'm thinking he blasted it. What an amazing thing. What an amazing God that we have. So all this time, you know, the enemy used that. He's tricky. And he tells people lies all the time. Like he tells you, he's telling lots of people what that their gender is different than God made them to be. He tells people they're ugly or they're worthless. Um, you need to kill yourself or this is your fault. He's a liar and Jesus wants you to know that today. He said there's no truth in him, none whatsoever. So you can know that when he's telling you a lie and it's not something, I wasn't, I wasn't happy that I was pregnant or that I thought I was. I was thinking it was too late, I'm too tired, I don't wanna do this. You know, when God tells you something, it's gonna get you excited and, and it's good and, and it's something that you want. And when the enemy tells you something, it's doom and it's gloom and it's hard. I mean, I did get used to the idea and thought it would be okay, but my first thought was, really? <laughs> so anyway, God is good and he's going to bring good to you. And the enemy is out to still kill and destroy. And he's going he's gonna to steal anything he can from you. And, you know, even like your reputation, because I told everyone that I was pregnant and I wasn't. And so he made me look really, really bad. But you know what? I felt like God said, turn it around. Turn it around and use it on the enemy because he lies to people and they go their whole life thinking that they're a boy or they're a girl or they're gay or, you know, they're a murderer. And he just lies to people and convinces them there's something that they're not and we need to be aware of that. And so that's why he wanted me to share this with you today. And so he's so good. Actually, can I pray with you right now? Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for revealing the lies of the enemy to us. And we thank you that we have the power to resist him, that you gave us that power. And we don't have to be afraid of him because you've given us power over him. And so every person that's listening, I thank you that you would make yourself real to them right now and tell them the truth if they've been believing, been believing a lie. Tell them the truth right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Just give him some time. Go to him, ask him questions, and he'll confirm that answer that he has for you two or three times. And you'll know the truth. The enemy tells you something that you don't want to be or, or you don't like or, or or makes you feel bad about yourself that's him and god only wants good for you 
So call him out, rebuke him. Jesus said, take authority over him. I've given you power and authority over him.